So Skipper called me in. He says, read this portion of the all report. Said, almost quote verbatim, uh, at NAS Miramar, start two graduate schools, one for the F-8 aircraft and one for the F-4 aircraft. Two graduate schools, get well programs, if you will, to change things out here during a war in the carrier Navy. So I thought, holy mackerel, what a job. And he said, will you do it? And I said, how much time? He said, they've asked for it in 60 days. Now you gotta remember, this is a graduate school. They've been training guys for five years in the Phantom, but it's gotta be a level of changes to change the war out there. So I had about 15, 16 guys, all really talented airplane drivers, great combat experience with me. So I looked at, I looked at what I thought needed to be done very rapidly, only had two months. And I thought, man, eh, you can't go to the Bureau of Personnel and ask for people. It'll take months to get them. So I used, I used nine of us from tactics phase, all combat guys, handpicked them, and all of them had a, a unique, he had, they had some unique ability in addition to their flying. Number one thing, you gotta be able to, to teach it at the level that the Navy wanted now. Joe's the famous Mel Holmes, best aerodynamics guy I ever met, and a great Phantom pilot. I've known him most of my flying life. And Jerry Sawatsky, big Polish kid, is an animal in an airplane. And people were afraid of him. It's Smash Nash. He got his call sign for a good reason, Smash. He was unbeatable. He said, I'd rather die than lose. And these guys all brought Jimmy Rulison, a brilliant man on radar and weapon systems. He knew it all. And what he didn't know, he knew the questions to ask. So J.C. Smith, the best RO backseater I could find. I'd flown with him a lot. Jimmy Lang, been shot down twice in the backseat of Phantoms in his two cruises and lived. And these guys are good. Daryl Gary, who went on to be my lifelong friend. He was a JG in those days and uh, had three tours, three additional tours at Top Gun when it got up and was running. You know, the war had been going on. We didn't have any place. We didn't have any building. We didn't have a training room. We didn't have a, a, any place for our flight gear or anything. So Steve Smith, he was a backseater, but he was really should have been a felon. He can get anything done on any given day. And he was my admin guy and he flew with all of us. But uh, I told him, I said on a Friday afternoon, I said, Steve-O, we got to find a place. I said, I know where there's some old buildings, Quonset Hut-like buildings.